guys, this is another uh, sparring session, October 14th, 2022. Uh, start off in close guard, I'm on top. Um, so, you know, anytime you start in close guard, you want to pass, you want to break his legs apart. And I think he's just feeling me out. When, he's, when his arms are high like that, he's not trying to get out, he's just trying to see what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, my notice my left uh, elbow on his uh, leg, trying to push it apart, but... Yeah, he's doing a great job breaking my posture, making it hard. Uh, this is an uh, interesting position. So I, I, I need to get more power to break his legs apart, so that's where I stand up. Uh, when I stand up, it's important that I control at least one of the arms so that he can't just uh, sweep me when he loses, uh, break his legs apart. But even now, he's, uh, t he's a fairly strong grip, and I had, I had to get, uh, come back to the ground. Uh, so still kind of trying to put put pressure on that uh, right leg of his. Um, as long as I control what, uh, his right arm, it should be easy for me to break his legs apart. Um, yeah, so after all that, yeah, his legs finally come apart and I start passing. So yeah, immediately I, I circle out my left leg, get try to get to half guard. I'm looking for his head here and he's defending. Uh, he wants the underhook and he wants to come on his side. And so at this point, he, he has both, and this is getting kind of hard for me. Um, ideally, I want my arm around his head uh, from the back. And because I, I, he's already on his side like this, it's it's really hard for me to do anything. Yeah, I, yeah, I pretty much, at this point, lost the position. Uh, I attempt a guillotine here. Uh, it doesn't work, partly because I, I haven't trapped the, his leg. He, you know, he passes right away to, to, to side control. Um... I'm still trying with the guillotine, but because his, his uh, I don't have a way to push the rest of his body away, it's it's not really going to work. Uh, yeah, so I abandon, I abandon the guillotine eventually, and we're pretty much back to, to side side control. Uh, yeah, so then I try to turn, this is pretty bad, you know, ideally I want to turn towards him. Okay, yeah, so now I'm flattening back up, I raise my leg to prevent him from uh, getting to mount easily. And I'm looking for the elbow escape. The moment he sees it, he kind of chooses, moves to a kesegatami, and now he's looking to attack my uh, left arm. Yeah, he's looking for kind of an Americana Kimura attack here. Uh, I have to spend most of my energy stopping it. So both arms, two arms versus two arms. Yeah, but then I give up the back, and at this point, it's kind of hard. I d yep, I'm trying to turn toward him to get out. Uh, so I try to trap his leg. Try to trap his leg again, and I miss both. So I had two chances to to recover half guard, and I failed both of them. <laughs> yeah. So at this, yeah, at this point, he's uh, he's looking for a straight arm lock. Um, I'm protecting my arm here, although you can't really see it well. Um, he did a great job here. Uh, I it's pretty obvious that he wants to attack my uh, left arm, but in order, uh, but I'm protecting it. So he's actually going for the choke with his uh, right arm, so that. If I if I free my arm to, to to protect my neck, he's gonna break my arm with the arm lock. So this is actually really really bad for me. Um, yeah, but once his legs come over, there's no longer a choke threat. But now he's just looking for that left arm, and, and I'm having some trouble breathing here. Uh, so even though I'm defending the arm lock, uh, I think I end up losing it pretty soon. Yeah, and I yeah I get around a tap. Yeah, so it's arm lock. So. I'm tapping the moment I feel like I'm about to lose the arm because I don't want to risk him breaking my arm. And 